theoretical literature review and another is empirical literature review and uh, and in uh, chapter 5 also sometimes uh, they uh, 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 they split it only discussion one part another recommendation and conclusion another part so uh, uh, and uh, uh, somebody when i have been observed that if uh, someone is uh, doing their research if it is mixed method and, and very big then six seven eight uh, chapters also they split it out uh, so that uh, they can present uh, their thesis proper, uh, yeah, report properly. So in preliminary, preliminary examination, uh, uh, sorry, preliminary information, which includes title, affiliation, abstract, declar uh, yeah, declaration, knowledge, acknowledgement, table of contents, a list of tables, a list of figures, and list of publications. These are the the preliminary uh, information that you need to put in the thesis and uh, in chapter one uh, you have to highlight what I want to do in chapter two uh, what others say about it that means the uh, existing knowledge of what uh, the other authors uh, their findings uh, their statements uh, about uh, about the issue that you are uh, going to study and uh, uh, chapter three is research uh, design and methodology in, uh, uh, your plan for doing it and chapter four analysis and results what happened when i did it and discussion and conclusion what uh, what this means and what i found out okay so uh, identifying a good research topic uh, a uh, good research topic uh, sometimes we uh, don't uh, what might have uh, in our uh, uh, title or topic uh, so uh, it is very necessary uh, to have all of these uh, all of this is topic number one uh, uh, should not be too general your topic uh, it is uh, unemployment problem of uh, 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 of India or Pakistan or Bangladesh or if we talk like this, so, so, so you have to be very specific uh, please ensure your mic is mute. Please, is uh, is specific and should be narrowed down. Your topic should be very narrowed down, and uh, must be from an interest uh, interested discipline, and uh, focused research topic of interest and uh, importance, topic of relevance and industrial applications, further scope possible uh, limitations. Who is talking? But someone uh, is unknown. Who is making noise? Please. Okay, focus. You get mute here. Yeah. You can mute him. Forkan, Forkan, uh, please uh, mute, uh, mute your mic. Focus research and topic of interest and importance, topic of relevance and industrial applications, and further scope, possible limitations, useful of the uh, society and industry, and the novelty. So you have to uh, consider all these factors for determining your topic or area of study. So uh, selection, selection of uh, research area, uh, the is uh, the speciality. Sometimes they don't uh, uh, the students uh, who are just uh, going to do their masters or PhD. Then uh, in which basis they will select their topic. Uh, what will be the different determinants? Uh, they cannot understand it. So, based on the speciality, uh, I would suggest you suppose you are in finance area, you you have the uh, honors and masters in finance. So, based on the uh, uh, your speciality, uh, I would suggest you, uh, and it is better to select the topic from the finance. And not uh, in human resource, or not in accounting, or not in MIS, because uh, you are uh, you have uh, the knowledge about the finance based on your speciality. You should select. And another one is interest. This is very imp uh, important. You are selecting the uh, topic, but you don't 
uh, your supervisor is suggesting something and but you you don't have the interest on that area so uh, if you are not you if you do not have the interest then you will not get the uh, adequate motivation to uh, study that uh, uh, the topic so uh, you will uh, uh, try to convince uh, your supervisor based on your interest uh, you will uh, 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 have to choose your uh, area of study then technical background if you have some technical background uh, in particular area suppose you have the data data analysis expert in uh, quantitative uh, 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 quantitative data so in that case uh, you should not go for the qualitative or secondary because you have some expertise in that area so so that you can articulate your uh, uh, your findings easily uh, in that, uh, uh, so uh, so I would suggest you to uh, whatever background you have, if you have the, any technical background, uh, try to focus uh, in that area. And your experience, uh, experience in the sense of your job experience or uh, <coughs> some uh, from where you can collect your data easily. If you have that kinds of experience, then uh, you can uh, 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 you can you have to consider that one as well actually need for research in this area you have to consider is there you have the interest you have the speciality but when you are selecting uh, either uh, is there any really need of the study it is really a crucial problem uh, that need to solve immediately or not so that's why uh, you have to choose based on uh, the uh, uh, the actual need of the study and available resources uh, that uh, uh, the uh, how will you uh, gather your data? You have to. You have the uh, available uh, source and uh, 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 resources uh, about that. So you have to consider uh, that area as well. And uh, in it, uh, uh, title of the thesis or research uh, uh, title. How will you uh, determine your research title? the title must contain the topic of interest topic on interest is uh, the dependent variable dependent variable uh, would be your problem so uh, for a study in finance mention the year of the secondary data undertaken for the study so you have to manage the, the, uh, this data has been collected from this uh, uh, industry so, uh, suppose uh, 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 soft drinks industry or the later industry and from uh, which uh, uh, which year to which year you will mention that uh, 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 in your topic. Then maximum 15 to 18 words. It should not be very long or like a paragraph and uh, it should attract uh, the people. The, and a title may be split into two parts. Two parts means uh, two sentences uh, like this. It should reflect the research uh, framework. Uh, it should uh, uh, reflect the research framework, the whole uh, thesis as well so that uh, wherever you are going that reflect the topic Exam example of a professional title see uh, uh, normally uh, in our social science research uh, we have uh, uh, our uh, cause and effect relationship there and uh, uh, so uh, uh, normally uh, in uh, in our uh, social science research the title not necessarily to be like this but uh, see here uh, how to write a professional title the effect of social compliance on employee productivity uh, see this uh, this is one uh, sentence uh, as i told you it might be two uh, 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 it can be uh, split into two sentences like then mediating uh, role of employee work motivation in ready-made garment industry of bangladesh can anyone say, um, anyone from you can say which one is uh, dependent variable, which one is independent variable? Anyone from you? Yes. Yeah. Is that independent variable and uh, uh, work motivation, employee work motivation is the mediating variable uh, and employee productivity is the dependent variable. Mashallah, very nice. What is the context here? Ready-made garment sector of Bangladesh. Yes, mashallah. Thank you very much, brother Tanvir. Jazakallah. So, uh, see, all the variables and the context uh, came over here. So, a title uh, should represent uh, all the variables uh, so that uh, the 
uh, the readers can easily understand what uh, uh, the thesis is talking about. So from the title, mm -hmm. uh, they can easily understand. So uh, uh, now we shall, uh, uh, how to write the abstract, uh, you know, uh, after title, we write the abstract. In, a, in an abstract, uh, what the components would be there? Context of the study. Suppose you uh, you can give a brief idea about in which context you have uh, you uh, uh, write your thesis. So then uh, you will uh, sh uh, show the problem of the study. Then from that problem you will uh, write what was the uh, what is your objective of the study. Then for doing that uh, uh, for getting that objective, what was the uh, what the methodology you develop uh, to achieve your objective then what was your sample size what was your sampling technique <laughs> what was your data collection methods please uh, mute your mic uh, abdi wali abdi wali please mute your mic data collection abdi wali method. please take a message i have texted you so many times you are not responding to the message also i cannot uh, uh, i cannot go for the message simultaneously brother no, sorry not so for not for you sir for the abdi wali the person who has not muted okay. himself, he has texted him personally also, he is not in the message. Okay, okay. Sorry I'm, for uh, you. I am uh, just give him out. Abdil Wali. Sometimes they enter and go away. Where is Abdul Wali? I think now he has muted, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay. Continue, sir. Okay, it's okay. Thank you very much, brother. So, uh, that, uh, sampling technique and data analysis tools that you used, uh, then results findings, uh, contribution, uh, recommendations, limitations, and further, uh, further research directives. So, all of these uh, need uh, your... Uh, 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 you have to put uh, very briefly uh, one sentences uh, for each component uh, might be there so uh, you uh, in abstract all the components should be there if you follow this structure uh, that uh, nobody can ever uh, complain against you oh, uh, this is missing in your abstract or this is missing everything would be there uh, but in the case of uh, i think article writing no need to start with the context you can start with the objective okay uh, what was the research objective or you can start from the problem as well uh, example of the abstract see uh, this is uh, the context of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, study uh, that uh, uh, we st uh, this started uh, from this uh, context uh, like uh, the ready-made garment industry of bangladesh has secured the second position in exporting the garment to the global market about 4 million workers of which 80 percent of women uh, work in uh, in this industry by exporting uh, uh, exporting clothing 30 uh, billion us dollar which is 83 uh, percent of total foreign currency earns uh, so uh, this is the important and context uh, has been uh, given then uh, see the problem has been uh, raised uh, it is in the abstract see despite its phenomenal success this industry is facing many challenges including low employee productivity sub standard of social compliance and low motivation of workers uh, bangladeshi government employees productivity is the lowest compared to its uh, competitors like china india pakistan sri lanka and uh, to name a few bangladeshi garment industry would be challenged to survive in the world uh, market unless they improve employee productivity it, I, I, I think it is uh, sufficient enough for the showing the problem of this industry so uh, so what is the objective from this problem what you want uh, uh, to achieve therefore the primary purpose of this study was to uh, uh, observe the relationship between social compliance practices and employee productivity with the view of employee work motivation as a mediating role so objective also comes then the study was conducted under positivism this is the uh, uh, this is the methodology which methodology you have chosen for resolving the issue so uh, the uh, so, sorry the, for conducting the study 
The study was conducted under positivism philosophy for which motivational theories and job demand and resources model were used for framing hypotheses. A deductive approach, uh, explanatory research design and uh, cross-sectional uh, time horizon uh, time horizon were followed to conduct the study. So this is uh, the methodology uh, been explained and see how uh, all the information given with shortly uh, through a quantitative uh, uh, questionnaire survey 74 items were taken from as existing literature to ensure the variables after uh, after uh, an overall pilot survey uh, the pilot survey also comes and what was your number of instrument and what was your data collection method all came together uh, 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 within one sentence by a systematic probability sampling technique, 500 samples were collected from the target population, then SPSS and SAM using smart PLS were used for analyzing and developing the model. However, this is the data analysis and uh, uh, sample size, sampling technique all came together. However, the results of the analysis revealed that 14 hypotheses among 16 were supported and uh, two were not supported. Thus, a subsequent social compliance, uh, uh, social compliance improved productivity relationship model was developed for the, this is the findings. And after findings, see, these findings will help the policymaker, government of Bangladesh, factory owners, managers, and other stakeholders uh, to formulate uh, the next policy and practices. So uh, this is your recommendations. Okay, the study was carried out only on a This is the limitations also comes. EPZ factories has been chosen. Now future research directives are talking. Uh, in future, comparative research can be carried out uh, by collecting samples from EPZ and non-EPZ factories. Another research can be done, including uh, other social compliance variables, uh, which are not included in this study. See, future research directives, uh, then limitations, uh, then uh, the recommendations, findings, your methodology, data analysis, all comes within uh, very shortly. So this is how we write the abstract. Okay. Now I shall start uh, the introduction chapter. Before going there, if you have any questions, you can ask me, brother. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. I do have a question. Yes, please. Okay. Um, supposing our, our topic has to do with labor relations strategies and industrial competitiveness. Say that um, the study is both micro and macro study, or is just a macro study since we are looking at industrial competitiveness. I don't understand. What did you say? Says, supposing a title of the. Can you raise your voice, brother? I said, supposing our title, our, our project title is Labor Relations Strategies and Industrial Competitiveness. <laughs> macro study or just a macro study? Okay. So, what is your question, brother? Can we say it's a macro or a micro study, the scope of study? Okay. Sir, sir, he's asking about whether this study is a micro or macro level study, which level? Uh, it is, uh, uh, you can say, uh, it, it is not, it is not uh, based on uh, economics, it is uh, uh, in social science research. Under this year, uh, we don't go for macro or micro. We directly uh, talk about the context. It is uh, done in the garment industry. That is why uh, it has been uh, uh, like this. But if you are uh, in economic uh, econometrics uh, background, in that case, if you are studying in macro level or micro level, then you have to mention uh, based on your study. Got the point, brother? Okay. okay. So if you have any uh, valid question regarding your abstract or title or anything, uh, otherwise I shall move for the introductory part. Anybody have any other question? 
Yeah. Yes, yeah, please. Prof, I have a question. Please, please. In abstract, only you have to make the abstract in three paragraph, yeah, in the mostly two to three paragraph. And the information we get from your presentation it says include a lot of information. I think it will be more than three paragraphs. So, so how we organize that? I, I told you, brother, uh, based on uh, the uh, uh, the components, I have uh, tell you, you have to go for context, one sentence on context, one sentence in problem, one sentence in methodology, one sentence in data collection, one sentence in uh, like this. If you uh, go for this, uh, see my, uh, these components, if suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, suppose you will... Uh, uh, for each component, you will write uh, 19 uh, sentences. So within these 19 sentences, you try to uh, 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 try to articulate uh, your uh, abstract, brother. That will help you, inshallah. So uh, suppose uh, you will uh, one sentence uh, regarding context of your study, then uh, problem uh, context and uh, importance of that industry, uh, in the importance in the sense of uh, the employability or in the sense of uh, revenue in the sense of uh, 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 soft, uh, other 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 context uh, importance and the context of the study by one sentence then problem statement in one sentence objective in one sentence like this so if you write in this way then uh, you can articulate brother recommendation limitations future research any other question otherwise i shall move forward Okay, uh, brother. Uh, so, please mute your mic, brother. Everyone. Okay. Uh, the uh, a classical uh, dissertation, as I told you, uh, uh, yeah, five uh, chapters. In uh, the first chapter is introduction. Here, uh, these are the elements that need to be. Brother, please mute your mic. Who is this? This is the problem of uh, okay. Okay. Now uh, this is the uh, uh, number one. The preamble you have to write the introduction or the preamble based on your uh, uh, you have to uh, give the idea of uh, uh, in introduction uh, idea of your research problem your context your uh, uh, importance of your variables uh, all the variables you can uh, talk a brief about uh, your into uh, your uh, uh, variable uh, dependent independent and uh, the mediating moderating variable your context uh, and importance of your study you will attract the reader uh, uh, in uh, in your introduction part uh, or in preamble then uh, you will write uh, uh, the background of the study in which background your uh, study then you can uh, give the idea uh, the importance of the of your uh, uh, of your study then problem statement uh, uh, i shall talk all of this uh, how to write the problem statement how you will uh, 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 you will highlight the issue of your study uh, in in the problem statement then the uh, from the problem uh, problem uh, after writing the problem then you will uh, what are the questions arise that you want to investigate then uh, based on your research questions and the problems or what the objectives that you determined and uh, significance of the study if you are in uh, a phd researcher in that case uh, the theoretical significance uh, uh, to be uh, uh, more highlighted uh, than the practical significance. So if you are in, uh, uh, in the master's study, if, uh, if you have the practical rather than the uh, uh, yeah, uh, theoretical significance, uh, you can proceed, no problem. But in the case of the, the PhD, we, uh, we want... Uh, uh, your uh, uh, your study have uh, uh, rigorous uh, or the valid uh, 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 you, you can say uh, uh, theoretical uh, contribution 
uh, in your study. So it's very important. Then the scope of the study uh, and operational definition of key variables. What is operational key uh, uh, definition means uh, in your uh, in your thesis uh, 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 the variables that uh, that are being used and uh, 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 what uh, that variables means in your particularly in your thesis that you have to define your variables so operational definition is very important and uh, giving uh, the operational definition one of the most important uh, some those some scholars some professors they say that it uh, this uh, uh, variable uh, definition of the variable uh, should be uh, the definition from the ex you have to take it from the existing literature but somebody says uh, since uh, the uh, the investigator himself are using uh, for his uh, uh, own uh, own study the definition would be given by the researcher himself so there is a, a, a different point of view is there so either you can use your own definition or you can use somebody else definition for uh, as operational definition of your variables then a chapter summary should be given in the introduction uh, in, uh, introductory part of your thesis so how to uh, write a preamble of uh, or introduction I, I just given an example Suppose if you go through these, employee, how to write an, uh, a preamble. So employee, sorry, uh, employee productivity is one of the essential components uh, of a, a successful uh, business organization. Workers who put forth a sincere efforts create an immense difference in company returns. Workers who concrete only on their uh, duties without any extra effort can put the advancement of the business into an impulse just given within the introduction given an introduction therefore it is imp imperative to motivate all personnel to touch their chock full potential at the high highest level of productivity since our problem is productivity now we are going for uh, uh, talking about the productivity business enterprise uh, that distinguish uh, and uh, embolden now their employees uh, have improved productivity compared to their uh, counterparts uh, that don't uh, provide such a notion. In this way, you will write, you will go in details. Uh, 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 since we don't have a huge time, you know, only one day, single day, so I cannot go uh, uh, very uh, detailed. So you will read it and how to articulate your preamble uh, that you will uh, get an essence from uh, this uh, uh, from uh, from this text so in this uh, you will follow in this uh, way you uh, for writing your introduction then in the background in the background uh, of your study what are the uh, component what are the uh, determinants uh, need to be considered uh, you have to put uh, uh, the general information about your topic what is happening now about your issue that you want to study then the context of your uh, topic what are the conditions settings and situation with respect to your topic if it is garment industry the what is the uh, current uh, scenario of the gar garment industry of bangladesh then its settings and what is the situation of employee productivity there what is the situation of social compliance and uh, employee work motivation you have to highlight the uh, uh, but you should not talk about in general or everything Wh whatever uh, you have decided what are the different components uh, suppose you are using social compliance all the social compliance variables you will talk about employee mo motivation and uh, employee productivity that you will uh, uh, you have to uh, you have a boundary uh, uh, or you will limit your discussion uh, based on your variables okay uh, so uh, you, you will talk about uh, independent dependent and mediating moderating or your context all should be there okay then rational or justification of your topic based on the uh, importance uh, you will uh, you will uh, show uh, you can show up uh, if you are not solving this problem what are the uh, issues issues will raise so uh, in terms of finance, in terms of uh, unemployability or uh, 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 how uh, in, in terms of your uh, GDP declination or 
anything you have to highlight over here if you if immediately this problem not been solved so how this uh, uh, this industry can be affect uh, uh, can be affected so uh, you have to uh, uh, you have to talk about in this aspect uh, why should we pay attention to your topic or the issue you want to study or address why should we care about your topic and uh, why is there a need to focus on your topic okay you have to uh, if you follow this uh, 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 components uh, so you can easily articulate your uh, background of your study 